People maintained their kinship with the animal by wearing its skin. From Plato onward, hunting and knowledge are ideas that chase and overlap each other. Applied in the connection is a certain deadly characteristic of knowledge, which in reaching its object can kill it. But the opposite idea is also implicit, that the hunter, having once reached the prey, can be blissfully contaminated by it, until he himself becomes prey. And so the hunter Aetian becomes prey to his gaze and lets himself be torn apart by his own dogs. This is how Giordano Bruno described what happened next, for the ultimate and last end of this chase is the capture of a fugitive and wild prey, through which the hunter becomes the hunted, the pillager becomes the pillaged. Because in all the other species of the chase undertaken for particular things, it is the hunter who seeks to capture those things for himself, absorbing them through the mouth of his particular intelligence, but in that divine and universal chase he comes to apprehend that it is himself who necessarily remains captured, absorbed, and united therefore, from the vulgar, ordinary, civil, and ordinary man he was, he becomes as free as a deer, and an inhabitant of the wilderness, he lives like a god under the protection of the woods in the unpretentious rooms of the cavernous mountains, where he contemplates contemplates the sources of the great rivers, vigorous as a plant, intact and pure, free of ordinary lusts, and converses most freely with the divinity, to which so many men have aspired, who in their desire to taste the celestial life on earth have cried with one voice, Lo, I have gone far off flying away, and I abode in the wilderness. <laughs>